All right, guys, and welcome back to episode eight of Pokemon Violet Let's Play. In the last episode, we arrived here in the the uh, region of Kitakami, and we are now here at the community center. We're getting ready to check out our map here. We are going to be going up here to Loyalty Plaza. So that is the destination that we are going to. And I wonder, I th oh yeah, we can ride our Maridon now. So that's cool. I just wonder what would be the easiest way to get to where we're trying to go. I'm guessing it would be this way. He said I'll pass the Apple Orchard. So that would tell me that that is this way. I am not going to, um, Ooh, what's this raid? Oh no. It's a century. Oh no, there's a Poochie in a... Will incinerate kill this thing? Almost. Let's catch it. I like the battle music, it's really nice. Nice to hear something different. Alright, so we have two separate Pokedexes to fill, apparently. Oh, there's a bell sprout. Nice. That's really cool. Bell sprout is awesome. Oh, it immediately tried to use sleep powder. Wow. Okay then. We should be able to catch it after this attack. Come on, stay in the ball. Yes. Got ourselves a bell sprout. That's pretty cool. What the heck is that? A pedal wheel? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's an Ekans. Okay. A lot of stuff here. There's a lot of food. Oh, another Puchiana. Ah, oh, come on. I just want to get out of here, bro. There we go. I couldn't even see that. I don't know why, but I couldn't see it. There's a Pichu. Ice heal. That's the first signboard. S sorry, did I startle you? I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're, sp we're supposed to read the signboard, right? Oh, I already know the whole story, so g go ahead. You should check it out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Dogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezendipi all happened to be there as well. 
The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their, rem their remains were given a proper burial, and the statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. But you don't think the ogre and the folktale sounds kind of cool? It does. Right, I knew you'd get it, Punchy. It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself. Wowzers, that's so cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up in the mountain so many times at night, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone, could you? That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. Thanks. Sorry, not trying to butter you up or anything. You know, I didn't want to have to come to do, come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might be actually kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Punchy. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? What, what's the, what is that thing? Some kind of caillou or something? It's called Maridon, and you ride on it? Huh, I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Punchy. You're, you're special. So the next, er, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Um, Kitakami Hall is, well, first double back down to town from here, then there's this bridge you cross, and from there you'll need to climb back up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Alright. So, let's see here. Where's the other place at? Oh, that's kind of far. Huh. Oh, there's an item right here. There's probably tons of them. Amnesia. Alright, let's try to find this other sign. There's a Starly. What's that? Oh, it's a Cricket Tot. Is that what it's called? Oh, there's an Apom. Now what? Okay, if I use incinerate, there's no way this should die. I'm gonna use bite. Oh man, it just popped right out. Baton pass. What in the world? It's Chinese baton pass. If I crit this thing, it's probably gonna die.
got him in the red. Sweet. Got ourselves an A-palm. Nah, we're not learning slam right now. Oh, Foy Coco is evolving. Nice. Try to get moving. There are Pokemon everywhere. Wait, can I just climb over the mountain? I mean, we're probably almost there, right? We're getting kind of close. Make sure I'm going the correct way. That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? So sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now, now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel will change. When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen, gre ashen gray mask, it could easily break the heart of stone in two. Before the little three fell, they rested away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? The masks the little three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. It was strong and cool and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sis sorta of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm going to become... I'm going to become someone people can rely on. Then maybe I could be that ogre's friend. Um, right. Picture. We're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too if you don't mind. Phew, I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Punchy. Now, on to the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. If you want it, we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the Dreaded Den. Ooh, I want to see. Yes, I really wanted you to see it for yourself, Punchy. So if you keep climbing... Up, you'll reach the infernal pass there's a sign before that if you turn at the sign you can get to the dreaded den
So we're supposed to turn at a sign? I didn't see a sign. I don't, I'm looking for a sign. Is there a sign up here anyway? There's definitely an item. And there's also a cylinder right here. Super random. Smog, huh? Finally, let's just run. I just want that TM. Ooh, fire fang. Nice. So there's a sign, but where is it? A Bonsley and a uh, Noibat. Oh, there's Orthworm up here. That's cool. Okay, Zen Headbutt. Okay, I see a sign. The dreaded den. Danger, do not enter. Let's save the game. So this is supposed to be a flamethrower. No, what? I can just, no way, dude. I could just give that to him early. Oh wait, I wanted to do this. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of incinerate for flamethrower. Alright, so there's a little pathway here. Oh, we're almost there. Punchy, did you have trouble getting across the narrow path? There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least, that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled, so you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. Let's do it again. All right, though, uh, we should heal up our teams first. I'll give it all I got. I, I got this. So what's he bringing out this time? Okay, we're starting out with a polywag. What level? This time, I'll put up a good fight. Level 15. Oh man, this is kind of annoying.
Let's try Bullet Seed. I guess he's just gonna keep spamming Haze. Oh man, that move's so cool on this game. If we can get it to hit like three times, we might be good. Yep. Wait, what's wearing a nuzzle? Oh, it's, um, what you call it? Uh, Palmy. Couldn't think of the name of it. And then we got Yama. So we're gonna use Crocodile here. And that air cutter is nasty. But now we got big boy moves like flamethrower, so. Wait, what's learning? Oh, Diglett's learning a mud slap. Nice. Okay, he's got a ferret. Wait, didn't he have Sentry? He already loved, he already evolved it. Okay, it's using Defense Curl. That's not gonna matter for this flamethrower. Oh no, not Dig. Okay, I'm in half health. I think I'm gonna use a potion. While he's underground there. This thing could kill me, but I doubt it. But it's probably gonna go for another one. It's faster to me. I could potentially live this with about four health. Wasn't max damage, I don't think. And it definitely wasn't a crit. Bro, trying to learn incinerate again. Just got rid of incinerate for a flamethrower. Oh man, I lost. Oh, Spoop is evolving. I doubt we're even keeping the Pavilion on our team, though. Pavilion. Eh, we'll see. Gonna learn Gust. We'll, we will teach it the move just in case we end up using it. I knew it. You really are strong, Punchy. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. And then there's something that was watching us. Watch your head. It 
See how dark it is in here? And cramped, even the floor is all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room in our house. I would totally let it stay with us. When can I move in? I don't know if we'd have the room for both of you, Punchy. But, if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Whoa, no way, the sun's already going down. I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out. Well, it'd be fun. Let's go together. Yeah, why not? It'd be great to go together. There's just a few things we'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. It's, um, let's see... I could maybe draw a map. Oh, your rotom phone has a map in it, huh? Want me to register it on your map? Yeah, I could give it a try. Wowzers, it sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there in your phone. I'm gonna ask if I can get a rotom phone someday too. I'll be right behind you. If you want to head to my family's place first, see you there. All right, we are going to go ahead and call it a night there, guys. It is pretty late for me, and this is going to be the end of the episode. So if you guys are new, definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment down below, share the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.